Hello Sagittarius, thank you so much for joining me, so I'm going to be do, doing a love reading for you. Um, yeah, what they're not saying to you, what they want to say to you, what they think about you, messages from them, um, just things you need to hear clarity, you need to get for your highest good, so we're going to look at that, alright, so Sagittarius, what do they think about Sagittarius? they think about Sagittarius? Spirit animal. Mm, some of you, this person thinks that you're very abundant, you're very work oriented, or um, you're very powerful and like responsible. You're very responsible. hard worker some of you have light brown hair some of you dye it um, a reddish color uh, we have warrioress yeah they think you're very strong you're very powerful you're in your power um, I keep getting responsible you're very responsible you take care of things you take care of what you need to you're very reliable yeah, you can be relied on. You're a provider of something or you like you are like the boss in your home. Like you really get shit done. You take care of stuff like you're it's no joke. Like, I don't know, you're very um, good at taking care of your household. That's what I want to say. You also stand up for the people that you love like no other. Okay, there could be something um, about the sign that's in your 7th house. The signs that are in your 7th house, in your birth chart. Could have Aries. You could have strong Aries placements. Yeah. Like... Like, this is extreme, but, like, you'd, like, kill someone for someone that you love. That's extreme. But, like, that's the type of vibe I'm getting. Like, you will stand up for those that you love, like, without a doubt, without hesitation. You're there. You're powerful. You're a leader. Okay, when you, okay, when you were younger, you probably, um, took care of yourself a lot or you took care of, you, you were responsible for yourself or you were responsible for another person or there was some reason why you had to... Um, you had to be really responsible, like, and very, this is, like, really grew your leadership quality. Ooh, inner wisdom. You're a queen is what I'm hearing. Yeah, look at the red wings. Like, I'm getting such like a powerful energy from you. Like, I wouldn't mess with you. Show me more about what they think of Sagittarius, please. Um, they think you're very intelligent. You have like multiple degrees or you're you're studying something or You're like the master of something. Um, inner beauty. Natural beauty is what I'm hearing. Look at all the peacock feathers. 
uh, this person. There could have been something where they got jealous of people looking at you in public or they just know that everyone thinks of you a certain way or they just know that everyone thinks you're attractive or something like that. Okay, this made someone insecure for some of you. Yeah, they think you're naturally gorgeous. Absolutely stunning is what I'm hearing. You could look really good in yellow. Or they think you look really good in yellow. There's something about the color yellow. Oh, why is my camera dying? Earth connection and devotion. Yeah, you're very devoted. You're very loyal. You're very responsible. You're there for the people you love. You're reliable. You you will be there. They know like you know that they know that you're a type of person that will be there. Um, there's something with Egypt. Okay, you could have past lives in Egypt. Common um, for the spiritual community. Peace on Earth is what I'm hearing. You could do some. You do something for the community, or you do some sort of like. There's some sort of charity work or volunteer work that you do, or there's something you do with animals, or there's something where you stand. You you protest or something. You stand up for the earth, for the animals. You clean up your surroundings. <laughs> okay. Yes. There's something specific about a conversation about, no, we can't leave that on the ground or something like that. That's what This is what this person thinks of you. Definitely something with the color yellow. You look really good in yellow. There's something about yellow. Yellow accents in your home. Okay. You're devoted to what you do. You're devoted to your spirituality. Some of you are devoted to... Like, like I was saying, like the studying, the degrees or something, like you have like spiritual degrees or something like that, or like you should, you're a master of something, you're very knowledgeable, okay, that this, this person believes you're very knowledgeable, you are very knowledgeable, but this, this is specifically what this person thinks of you, I just heard what this person remembers about you, okay, that's not for everyone. Um, okay, what do we have for Sagittarius? What else do we have? I don't want my camera to die. What else do we have for Sagittarius? What messages? What are they not saying to Sagittarius? Money. They think you're very abundant. You're very responsible. Alright, there's something with money. Show me more. Oh, interesting. This person, you could be in separation from them. You could have been in separation with them for a while, okay? We have karmic. Some of them are receiving karma in relation to their money. Some of them, there's a karmic and there's money issues. Oh, we also have karma and third party. Yeah, okay. So we have music messages. Karma. This person was b betrayed by a third party for some of you. We have third party. This person is with a karmic. Or they chose someone over you. It's hard not to compare everyone to you. They think about you a lot. Oh, okay. Energy attachment. Yeah, this person has an energy attachment with a karmic. A soul tie with a karmic. They have a contract to live out with a karmic. Okay. I hope you know I'm trying. Um, this person sends, this person's higher self sends you music messages. They send you a lot of messages and music. This person also, a lot of songs remind them of you. Um, but this person's higher self is sending you music messages. 
to let you know what's going on or to keep you updated, okay? Um, but, um, yeah, so there's an attachment with a karmic, okay, there's a, there's a contract that's needing to be lived out with a karmic, okay? A certain lesson that's needing to be learned or realization that's needing to be had. Um, just because their higher self has these, like, realizations doesn't always mean that they have, like, the conscious, I see past portrayals trying to flip over, it doesn't mean they have, like, the conscious, like, awareness that they're, oh, I'm in a karmic situation, I have a contract to, like, go through, like, they don't necessarily know that, oh, their higher self knows that, wow, a ton of cards just fall on the ground. We have Jealous here, Apologize here, we have Dependence here, some of some of them have Karmic Dependence. Some of them have Children with a Karmic. I've been waiting for a long time, and we have Pink, and these are the ones that fell on the ground, so I'm not going to take them, but, um, yeah, okay. Alright, let me just roll this back. Sorry, I have my legs crossed because it's more comfortable. So I can't really, I have to like scoot across the floor with the wheels. Okay. Um, alright. A karmic depends on this person. People depend on this person. And then gift. Hmm. What's this gift? They want to give you a gift? Some of you, there's something they should have given you a gift. What's this gift about? Some of them know you have a spiritual gift. All right, mirroring, which has been coming out a lot today. Mirroring, so something's mirroring. Separation. Oh, this person gets a lot of reminders about you in their situation. Like, they want me to clarify that. Like, like what I was saying with the music messages, like their higher self sends you music messages, this person gets a lot of reminders in music, um, a lot of things remind them of you in general, um, okay, this separation is actually a gift, okay, there's actually a good reason, um, that it's not time yet, okay, we have two thoughts that they, they're wanting to share, I want to kiss you, and I want to know how you feel. Okay, I don't want my camera to die, so I'm going to get one more um, with this situation, and then I'm going to go charge it. Okay, 5D Intimacy. This card does not come out a lot. And Blocked. Um, there could be something where they were being too intimate in a 5D way, or there was too much, there was too much intimacy going on, or it was, too, it was like too intense for someone, somebody blocked it out, you blocked it out, they blocked it out, somebody's higher self, their higher self block, keeps you protected from their, um, initiations in the 5D when it comes to intimacy, okay, that, there's, that's for someone, um, for some of you, this person, you're intimate with them in the 5D, in dream space, whatever. But you guys are physically blocked from each other in the 3D reality. Alright, final one. I'll do one more. They're very intimidated by you. I don't know why I want to keep saying that or keep um, reiter reiterating that. I hope you will forgive me. There could be something mirroring where you might you might feel this is not for everyone because you're a Sagittarius, but you might feel intimidated by them, but they're intimidated by you. Okay, we have unsent messages, solitude, and I've never met someone like you. Mm-hmm. They're spending a lot of time alone. They're trying to. This love spell keeps wanting keeps showing up on the bottom here. Intimacy, yeah, so there's something, there could have been some sort of love spell that they tried to do that was blocked, <laughs> or some sort of love spell that a karmic tried to do that was blocked, or there's some sort of love spell that a karmic did that blocked his intimacy with you as well, um, in the 5D, and we have alignment, so that's what everything's working towards, is alignment, um, 
especially if this is a twin flame, which is, that's kind of like my goal today is to do readings for people in twin flame situations, but it's not going to be everyone. It's also soulmates and um, whatever else. I think of you even when I know I shouldn't. Yeah, it's kind of crummy though, because this person, it, I miss you. It seems like this person is in a karmic situation, but um, they are thinking about you often. There are a lot of reminders about you. They listen to music that makes them think of you. And vice versa, too. You're getting a lot of messages in music, or you're being sent them. Alrighty, Sagittarius. I wish you the best of luck as you move through this. Um, if it resonated, I hope it provided you with guidance and clarity on your situation. And um, if you'd like a personal reading, you can take a look at the description. And yeah, lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of love to you as always. Bye!